Yo, yo, yo! It's your boy Dipsy. How's it going, guys? So today I've got another treat. This will be a subscriber requested video. So I had this subscriber ask me, Dipsy, how do I deal with the breakup? Now I'm going to tell y'all some of the realest shit ever, right? So listen, you've got to understand something, man. You cannot do what your instinct wants you to do. So what your instinct wants you to do? It, it, it wants you to send that text, baby, I'm sorry, you know, I, I fucked up, I'm wrong. Listen, I don't care what you guys say, but listen, listen to this. The biggest mistake you can do in this situation is make the first move. If you just broke up with your girl or she broke up with you, do not make the first move and I'm going to tell you why. You have to understand, guys, when shit goes wrong in a relationship, it's in a guy's nature to question himself. What did I do? Could this have been avoided? We become fixated on what happened. And this is the issue. This fixation is what's caused pretty good dudes to do some fucked up shit. You heard all these stories about dudes chopping their girlfriend into pieces, beating the shit out of them after a breakup. And these aren't always sinister, evil dudes. All people do are read headlines, but don't realize you won't know what you're capable of until you're in that situation. That's the fact. And what you need to understand is this fixation, just sitting there dwelling on it, you're fucking yourself up. So here's what you do. You have no other choice but to become a man of purpose. I don't care if you want the girl back. I don't care if you guys have been together since diapers. I don't care. You've got no choice but to focus on yourself because you don't understand this. By virtue of you focusing on yourself and becoming a better man, who knows when she walks back into your life? But to be honest, who cares? You should not care. I don't care how long you've been with her. You've got to know when to put your feelings to the side. I don't care what anyone tells me. That's the essence of being a man. Whether we are supposed to do that, it's, you got to understand, think about the men that go to war. They're getting sprayed down by bullets, motor fire, niggas, niggas launching napalms from the sky. Are you serious? And they still go to war. You don't think they're scared? You don't think they're in fear? Of course they're in fear. Nigga might really lose his life today. So it's about putting your feelings to the side to accomplish the greater mission. The greater mission is becoming a better version of yourself so that the next person you attract, hopefully you can keep. But it takes a certain level of confidence after a breakup to not over pursue. People don't want to talk about the dark side of the reason why you, you blowing up her phone and the reason why you doing all this shit to get her attention back is because you are scared you're going to get replaced that quickly. So what's that say about you subconsciously? Subconsciously it says you realize you're probably not enough as you are. Guys, you have to understand, if you truly think you're that dude, who is she going to go to besides you? If you think you're that dude, who is she going to go to besides you? Now if you fucked up, if you cheated, if you lied, you did some really fucked up shit, you just got to accept the consequences my friend. It's a learning experience. We're not perfect. I'm not going to sit here on my holy podium and act like I did nothing wrong in my life. That's bullshit too. But you got to understand, you have to accept the consequences. You have to accept the consequences of your actions. That's it. You know, a lot of guys out there have gotten lucky with women. And what I mean lucky is you stumbled across the right time, found the right girl, and you guys were together for a while, so you almost forgot what you have to do to get another one. But all you need to do is have some confidence, and you're going to get the confidence by working on yourself. Abundance mindset. I'm going to make a video about this very soon. A lot of guys have a scarcity mindset. Abundance mindset. You lost your girl today. Okay, there's seven... There's 7 billion people on this planet. There's at least 3 billion women. There's more women than men. What are, you, what are you worried about? Oh, but you lost this woman, right? What if I told you there's a lot of those types of women out here? It's, like I said, there's 3 billion women. So I'm not saying this woman didn't bring something to your life. 
But if she's now, if she's now in a space where you're probably not going to get her back or you don't even know if you're going to get her back, focus on what you can control. What can you control? Well, I'm glad you asked. You can control your own life. She's another human being. Let her do her. Guys, I've had women who I've went on dates with before. Everything went great. I got blocked the next day. And it wasn't it wasn't necessarily because I did something wrong. You guys, you guys always assume you did something wrong. Shit, this hat like you gotta understand, man, she's gonna go with her emotions. Women are more emotional. If they feel a certain type of way, they're gonna go with it. It doesn't mean you as a man fucked up all the time. So it's about it's about focusing on you and the right one will come. Because you're putting that energy out there. But this scarcity mindset shit, what am I going to do? I lost my girl. Shit, she loved me. She was the only one that could love me in this dark world. You ain't even sounding like the type of dude who could get another girl. So how are you going to get another girl? You want to get back with her? Why? She left you. She left you. Or vice versa, if you broke up with her, why are you trying to get her back? It's over. It's over. It's over. Accept it. I'm telling y'all the realest thing I could tell you. Accept it. Because guys who don't accept it, they out here killing their girlfriends, their exes. They out here doing fucked up shit. And they're not a fucked up dude. They just did the wrong thing and it festered and it festered and it festered. How could she leave me, man? Shit. Uh, you know, I'm going to pull up at her crib. All right, I'm going to text. I'm going to shoot her a text. Damn, she's not answering my text. I'm going to walk up to her door. She opened the door. We're arguing. I'm in her house. I'm choking her. Like, you see how it just... Guys, don't make the wrong decision. I'm telling y'all the realest shit I could tell you. Accept it. Accept it. Because on this self-improvement shit, you might have to sacrifice true love to become the best version of yourself. Because that can that comes and goes. You're in a better position to meet the right one once you're figured out. So when it comes to this breakup shit, listen, I made my views very clear. We are not pursuing. As men, we are not pursuing any further. We've given women enough power in society, and you have to understand something. She's got more options than you. She can be fucking more than you. She has the power. If she goes outside today, your girl who just broke up with you, Goes outside today, makes a post on Instagram. Somebody come pick me up. I'm at this location. I'm going to fuck you. They're all going to that location. 50 cars deep on your girl. Facts. You do the same thing. I don't care how good you look. Just off principle, nothing's about to happen to you. You got to understand this. We live in a... It's not fair, guys. And who said it's supposed to be fair? Men and women are different, but you got to understand these differences so you know how to move. So we're not chasing, we're not giving them even more power by putting ourselves in the weaker position. You get your mind off that girl, and you become the best version of yourself, and I'm accepting nothing less. Nothing less. It's your boy Dipsy. You better heed this advice. Not just the person who I answered this question to, but all you guys watching this video. Fuck that. It's time. It's showtime. The brace of light. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Abundance mindset versus scarcity mindset coming soon. I'm going to catch y'all later. Peace out.